Uh, care, it's a word that's become synonymous with this crisis often, meaning looking after older people in residential homes. But in reality, care is much broader than that. People who've suffered injuries or conditions such as a stroke require care, rehabilitation, and they can't or often don't want to leave home due to the risk of COVID-19. Well, Minds Maze is trialling innovative new technology to deliver at home care virtually from hospital. It's currently in use at the Royal Buckinghamshire Hospital here and at the Mount Sinai in New York. We're live now to Zurich. Where, to Lausanne, in fact, not Zurich, uh, where we can speak to Tej Tardy. He's the chief executive of Mind Maze. Tej, good to see you. So more people are requiring rehab in their homes. How are you delivering that? We do this in... Um, so first, hi. Um, we're a brain technology company. and There's a bit of a lag, so I'm going to continue. And we build a, you know, a free set of products that go into hospitals and homes. So one of the products called Mind Motion Go is a special set of hardware and software that is installed at the homes and they can connect remotely to clinicians, so they're therapists and doctors. And they're able to receive therapy in, in these times actually fairly when it's very difficult for them to access hospitals because these are high risk uh, demographics. Of course, but can you fully replicate the uh, experience in, at home that you would get in a clinic or in hospital? Indeed, we're getting there. I wouldn't say we completely replicate it, but it is to a point where it is more than sufficient to bring a drastic change in their performance and recovery. It will get to a point very soon, and which is why this is an important phase for us to deploy these devices into as many contexts as possible. Because as you'd imagine, this is not just about the home. It could be a clinic, it could be a nursing home, it could be something closer to home. So there's different contexts for us to validate. But it is very effective. We see some fantastic results. And presumably the uh, patient will require members of their family to help out at certain points, will they, during the treatment process? Uh, we actually encourage it because, you know, recovery is not just an isolated process. Uh, the caregivers are very important, the family, uh, you know, the neighbours, friends, everyone involved, right? Yes. So, yeah, the family is used in a way to at least set it up, but then the patient is pretty much independent. That's the advantage. They practice when they want, as much time as they want, and that's the idea. Does the patient have to input data to enable the clinician to monitor their progress? Uh, it's set up in a way where it's a single click. Uh, once it's set up, it's pretty much, um, you know, three seconds for it to go. And once they get online, the therapists know, the clinicians know, so it's, it's very much automatized. And the games are uh, progressively challenging and rewarding at the same time. So uh, the idea is to facilitate independence, not to make it difficult. Do you think this is going to mark a permanent shift in how neuro rehabilitation Rehabilitation is delivered in future? Definitely. I think healthcare in general is going to see a, a shift uh, in the way we see more care and more, how do you say, therapy delivered uh, in the home scenario. Um, and that is vital. I think the COVID-19 crisis just makes it obvious, but this is going to be a, a larger trend uh, that we will begin to see. All right, Tej Tardy, great to talk to you. Thanks for joining me. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers.